Welcome to 2021. Thank goodness 2020 is over. I cannot wait to hang out with you, come and visit you at your venue and cover your event. I love covering positive things. One of the positive things I love doing every year is June Jam. And it's the 43rd annual June Jam. Bob Hartley is waiting for us down in Dover, Delaware at June Jam headquarters. It's the main stay suites uh, down in Dover. Uh, I need to get my contract signed for 2021. So I'm going to go and have a chit chat with Bob, get an update on the 43rd annual June Jam. Down in Dover, Delaware with Bob Hartley, the founding member of June Jam. And remember everyone, June Jam is one of the longest running music festivals for charity in the nation. Bob, is that correct? Yeah, definitely, Scott. Uh, I'm sure that we've lost several uh, great uh, organizations uh, throughout the country that had uh, music festivals for charity. And so we've been doing this. This will be our 43rd year. And uh, there's not too many in our league uh, left anymore now. We're one of the last standing, that's for sure. Okay, Bob, looking back on the 42nd annual June Jam, uh, with all of, the, all of the challenges, the COVID-19, um, Bob, you got it off. I can't believe that you guys did it. Tell us a little bit about the 42nd annual June Jam. Well, Scott, we tried to have the June Jam in June. Obviously, that was our first choice. And then we also tried, had a date on August the 15th that we hoped to pull off the June Jam and still have it in the summertime. Um, but we finally were able to pull it off on October 10th, uh, 2020. Uh, we got the permission of the state of Delaware. We had to cut our attendance uh, to have it 50%. And uh, we had it socially distanced and uh, people came down and had a great time. And we were thrilled. We didn't know till six days before the event that the state of Delaware was gonna allow us to have the event. And now things have, of course, have mushroomed since then would be difficult to have it after that and it was we weren't able to have it before so the fact that a lot of people there was a lot of effort made on this part of our staff on the part of uh, other folks that stepped up uh, the people that produce sound for us and those types of things that not only could we have a really nice June jam for our people and the folks that attend but we could also do it safely and uh, you know get out and still have some fun so people came in all the folks that came in, they've cooperated with us, and we still had a really nice June jam. Uh, a little bit later, we had it what we call Rocktober, uh, but we were able to have the 42nd annual June jam, and fortunately, we were the only uh, outdoor music festival, major music festival in Delaware uh, in 2020. And a big thanks go out to all of the bands that were very flexible in their scheduling and uh, able to accommodate the changing needs of June Jam. And what a great, great thing that they did uh, for local charity. Give us the date and give us the list of bands that have committed uh, thus far to the 43rd annual June Jam. On June 19th. So that June 19th is the Firefly weekend. Unfortunately, we're not able to have Firefly again this year. Last year, our friend- Is that confirmed? Yeah, well, they, uh, they contacted me and they said, we're pretty confident that we won't have Firefly. And usually they're announcing their bands by now. So mm. I think that's pretty well. Uh, he said, we, I, we said, well, we would like to have the weekend. And they said, go ahead and, and take the weekend. So we've moved back one, one week to what we typically had June Jam before, which is Father, uh, Father's Day weekend. So we're now at June 19th. Our lineup this year is uh, our, our band that we're very happy to have back. We had Jason Morton and the Chesapeake Suns from Kent Island and also from Nashville. Uh, they've got several great videos out. Uh, they're a really well-established band uh, in the lower Maryland area. And so we hope to have great things from Jason Morton in the future. And they wanted to come back. They had such a good time uh, playing for us last year that they've agreed to come back and asked us to come back and, and we gladly accept it. Uh, we also have uh, a new band coming in doing 90s style called Storm Over Seattle. And we have just the amount of reviews, the people who have recommended this band, uh, really good musicianship, great songs that we haven't had in quite some time. And so uh, uh, Storm Over Seattle will be one of our bands. Uh, we're bringing back from previous years, we're bringing back the Jim Bob Cochran Band. 
So Jim Bob played for us and really got in between two really high quality acts at the end of the show uh, several years ago. And so we're bringing those guys back. Really well known band in the uh, in the Dover area and throughout play throughout Delaware. And then we also have coming back in a new band this year um, and they're called Group Therapy. So it's headed up by Tom King on guitar. He's got a really good vocalist with him. The bass player is phenomenal. And I got a chance to catch them down in Cambridge. Um, once again, another band that they'll do some classic rock, but they do some newer stuff. They'll do like Three Doors Down and some newer stuff. So it's a, it's a great, it's not the old classic rock lineup that we've typically heard. Um, and so we're also happy to have them. We have some other bands that we're working on we think that people will really like. We try to bring the best that we can from the Mid-Atlantic. We have some of our friends from the Bottle and Cork and people that put on concerts throughout the Mid-Atlantic helping us provide, provide us with some names for some bands. So our entertainment uh, folks, Brenda Bunchu and, and Brian Mangus are out scouting for uh, bands and we're talking to several good ones. Wow. What an accomplishment to get that off, Bob. Congratulations on the 42nd annual June Jam. Keeping that chain and that string of events alive and well uh, and carrying the torch is one of the longest running music festivals for charity in the nation. I'm so proud of you, but there's a couple more questions I have and they're for Cookie. Okay, so if we can get Cookie in here. Cookie, how was the 42nd annual June Jam? Well, Cookie came down and helped out a little bit. She supervises, she does a good job with that. And if there's someone that doesn't look too savory, she barks at them. So Cookie does that. <laughs> Welcome back to Limo Guy Studios in Middletown, Delaware. I've got my 43rd annual June Jam contract. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to start promoting just an awesome event in our area. And it looks like Bob is telling us that Firefly for 2021 has been canceled. And June Jam will probably be the only outdoor uh, music festival for charity this year in Delaware. So uh, looks like they're going to continue on. I mean, 42 years of dedication to the community. Uh, in the past, Bob has told me uh, some serious money has been returned to the community by June Jam undertaking their annual events. So kudos to you, June Jam. You guys are awesome. All the volunteers, all of the staff, you know, everyone that runs it, all the bands that come in and do this wonderful deal for the community every single year for the past 42 years. Looks like it's going to be the 43rd annual June Jam. It is going to be the 43rd annual June Jam because I have my contract, right? <laughs> no, it's because of all of you. Now, listen, when I was sitting at the table with Bob, let me give you some insider information. And before I go another step further... You need to subscribe to the Limo Guy at Large YouTube channel. Click on subscribe below and make sure that you're following, staying tuned in, because while I was sitting at the table, I was able to secure a sponsor. So I've got a new sponsor for June Jam and also a returning band, potentially a returning band. So if all of these moons can align, we can get the money in from the sponsor. And then we can get that money to this wonderful band, local band. You, you guys love them. I know you do. June Jam family loves this band, and so do I. But until everything is codified, all those words fall onto paper, and the deposits are transferred, and the money is exchanged, and it hits bank accounts, I can't tell you who this band is or who the sponsor is. So stay tuned. Subscribe to Limo Guy at Large YouTube channel. Listen, follow me on Instagram, Limo Guy. It's just Limo Guy, at Limo Guy. Make sure you're following me there as well. I'm, I put hints out there. Make sure you follow me. I, I, I love Instagram. It's so fun, and it's a great way to reach you directly. And uh, what, about, what else we got? We got Facebook. You know all about the Facebook page. If you don't, please go and click the like button over there, too. This is also very important, okay? It helps me to get out to see you, okay? Once I'm monetized, oh, oh, help me. Help me. I need your help. I need to get over 1,000 thousand subscribers. I think I'm good with the watch time, but I just need the 1,000 subscribers, so please go do that, too. All right, enough, enough, enough. 43rd annual, annual June Jam. I'm so excited. I got my contract. Bob, thank you so much. Thank you, um, GNR Campground. 
Uh, love that place. Norm, it's going to be great to see you. Take care. Wishing you a happy new year. Hope everything's uh, going well with you and your family. Uh, what else? What am I missing? Uh, hey, stay tuned. Thank you so much for doing all you do in the community and all of your support in the community. June Jam appreciates it, and so does the limo guy. That's all I love doing is positive stuff. You know where to get your uh, negative stuff. You go over there and you get it. You get it. We don't need. We don't do it here. Okay. Thanks for watching.